Hello, welcome to another quick Illumini Neo tutorial. My name is Steve and today we're going to be looking at the focus stacking tool. Focus stacking is where we combine images taken at different focus distances to achieve a greater depth of field. Basically the whole scene is in focus. You can do this with landscape photography or like today we're going to be doing it with product photography. I'm going to be taking a picture of a candle. It's a good example because of the base of this candle is actually quite large. So if I focus on the candlestick stem, part of the base is no longer in focus. Could I not just use a smaller aperture and increase the depth of field? Yes, I could. I could go all the way up to f22 with my lens, save myself a bunch of time. The only issue is once I start getting up to those numbers, I'm going to get a softer image. It's going to be lower quality. That's because I've gone beyond my lens's sweet spot. And a sweet spot for your lens is where it's most sharpest, it's optimal aperture. Now mine's somewhere between f8 to f11. You'll want to check for your own lens, do a few test shoots or look online to see where your lens shoots at its optimal aperture for a good sharp image. Now before you even begin to attempt the focus stacking photo, you'll want to make sure you're using a tripod. That's because you'll have to have your photos aligned perfectly so that the AI for the focus stacking tool can go in, detect those sharp edges and combine those photos together. I would also suggest using a remote. That's because when you press down on the shutter button of your camera, you might just move the camera enough to misalign the photos. So, you know, be on the safe side, use a remote to trigger your shots. Once you've done all that, we can then take a look at the focus stacking tool. So here are my photos. I've actually taken eight, which might be a little bit overboard, but I do like to be thorough. Um, I'll show you a few of them actually. So you can see here that my stem is in focus, but if I go down to the bottom, the base is not in focus, the front especially, and the, and the focus falls off the back there. One thing I would also suggest, don't try and edit each individual photo now, you can see dust spots and everything in that photo there. Wait until they've all been combined and then edit that photo as the finished product. Save yourself a bit of time. All right, now what you'll need to do is drag your images into your catalog window. And then if you've not got it installed yet, go up to extras and then inside of the extensions window, you'll find focus stacking just here. Make sure that's installed. And then once it is, it should appear here on the right. Then I'm going to drag and select everything and then drop them onto the focus stacking tool. You can use from two up to a hundred different images. That's quite a lot. Wait for them to load. Um, I will say that this can take a bit of time, especially if you've got large images or if you've got a lot of different images, it can take a bit of time. So be patient and wait for your result. So once you're ready, press stack. Now whilst that's loading, what I will suggest is to see if your camera has something called focus peaking. And what it will do is it will highlight in bright red everything that's in sharp focus. And that can really assist you if you're struggling with your eyesight or if what you're taking a photo of is very small and you know, very intricate details that you can't really see with your own eye. It's a really good helpful tool. Let's have a look then and see if this is all finished. All right, so once your image is ready to be viewed, we're gonna go and look inside of the focus stacking folder here on the left and then we can double click it and open it up and then we can see what we've got. So, the stem is looking very sharp and the base as well, look at that, all in focus, all super sharp and I'm very happy with that. And it's now ready to be edited. This saves me so much time having to do it manually, I love it. Um, we can also see I've got some dust spots here on the left, which is annoying. You know, no matter how well you clean your lens, it always finds a way honestly. So if I go to the erase tool, this is another little tip that can save me some time. Go to the erase tool and go hit remove dust spots. Just give that a bit of time to detect those pesky dust specks on your lens. And there we go. All gone. Again, saving me so much time really really is so good what i want you to do is go ahead and try this for yourself use the hashtag made with lumina so we can check them out too and i'll see you in the next one for another quick tutorial with some of lumina neo's fantastic ai tools see ya